In today's Your Healthy Family, this coming Monday is the Boston Marathon. And what's more healthy than having the ability to complete a marathon? It's something one Colorado Springs woman will be doing on Monday. You could say she's not your average marathoner. Chances are you've heard of paratriathlete Melissa Stockwell, who's ditching her swimsuit and her bike for her next big event. The Boston Marathon, I mean, people dream about this race for like it's like their life's dream to run it and here I am having the opportunity to do it so it's pretty amazing. After winning bronze in Rio in 2016, Tokyo that was supposed to happen in 2020 was a different animal for Melissa when the games finally rolled around in 2021. Before Tokyo I, I broke my back um, about eight weeks before the actual race of the Tokyo Paralympics and I couldn't run. Having to stop training eight weeks before the games to heal when she should have been peaking was less than ideal. But she made the best of it, competed, and took home fifth overall. But it was that pause in training where the idea of running in Boston was born. When I started to run again, loved it, kind of fell in love with running and thought, I can't get enough of it. Let's let's like do something about it. Melissa's run marathons before in New York City and as part of an Ironman she completed that includes a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, plus a full 26.2 mile run. But this race is a draw for more than simply being the challenge of completing a marathon. In 2013, after the Boston bombings, I was able to go Travel to Boston to meet some of their survivors, like the newer amputees, thanks to an organization called the Semper Fi Fund. They kind of brought some um, veteran type amputees up to Boston to meet some of those survivors from the Boston Marathon. And so it's kind of always been in my mind. Melissa says her training's gone well this time around and she's ready. And so the peak of my training is pretty much done. Um, right now I've ran the furthest I've ever, ever run um, last week. So 50 miles total, it's it's going really well. Like I'm actually really enjoying the longer miles, the monotony of like one foot in front of the other. And It was 18 years ago on Wednesday that Melissa's life forever changed. She posted on social media this week a happy birthday to what she calls her little leg, saying, quote, it's been 18 years of doing more in my life with one leg than I ever would have done with two legs. 18 years of living, loving, and finding joy in the smallest of things, unquote. As well as the big things that she's challenged herself to do that have brought her so much joy. And to find the same sense of accomplishment in your life, Melissa says you don't need to tackle a marathon. My advice is you don't have to be like an Olympic athlete or Paralympic athlete. Like not everyone is going to set out to do that. And that is, you, like, you don't feel like you have to be like this elite level athlete. Like to get out and to go on a bike ride with your kids. I mean, to get out, if you've never, I mean, if you look, think about a 5K, 3.1 miles, and you think, oh man, that's so daunting, I could never do that. But you can, like, let me be the first to tell you, like, you can do that. I mean, you just have to get up and, and make it happen. And maybe it's, you know, the first day you walk half a mile, and the second day, you maybe you jog for 20 seconds, and then you walk again. Like, you find the right program, you build to it, and imagine how amazing it'll be when you get out there and complete that, that 5K, or whatever it may be. So. I don't think it's, I don't think we give ourselves enough credit on the things that we're capable of, of doing. And as far as fitness goes and getting out there and being active, it's kind of this, like once you get started and you look back, you'll think, oh, I can't believe I didn't always do this. It just, it helps you mentally, physically. And for me, it just brings this whole new perspective and added joy uh, to life. Yeah. Can you imagine your life without it now? No, I don't know what I know. I can't, I can't imagine one day without it, much less life. Yeah. In our next story, Melissa shares her goals for the race and talks about what she's most looking forward to in this iconic Boston Marathon. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more stories, head to your healthy family .com.